The journey continues. 65 miles to the Blue Mountains. While feeding the ox, no one get the boat observes that it seems lethargic. It's breathing labored. It might be sick. A full day's rest or additional food may well restore its vigor. We definitely need to let it rest because we've only got one left. Give it a full day's rest, the ox seems much better by the next drawn and is able to pull the wagon again without further harm. Excellent. We've got some clothing issues. Let's get everybody uh, kind of topped off. I don't think we... Morale's down a little bit. I wonder what could have caused that. It's almost like we saw something that totally bummed us out last time out. Alright. Everybody's feeling a little bit better. There is a moose. There's a lemur. I don't know if that's what that is. Um, do we need food? So Noah get the boat out. We don't have many bullets. So unless it's something big, I don't think I want to shoot at it. Okay, that, that works. We got two bullets left. This is this is our last bullet. Oh no! I shot the buffalo instead of that. That's that's gonna be it. That's unfortunate. We do get forty pounds, but I was really trying to shoot the other thing. No, get the boat has failed us. We may have to trade for some more bullets going forward. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's him. He come back without his hunting gear on. We'll definitely get the pelts. Um, we'll go here. We don't know what's here. We're on our way to the Blue Mountains. It's like part of the thing is already damaged. I'm not sure why that just popped up all of a sudden. We've got 11 pelts. We've got some coffee. We got hard tech. We gotta get rid of this dude's cello. I'm not sure what we do with that. A pronghorn. Um, Hannah Montana checks the bag of flowers and recoils in disgust. It's infested with weevils. Um We'll discard 25 of I mean we got so much food right now. What a waste. Get over it. Canada Lynx. We got some more stuff hidden in the background. Over there. What's over there? We actually don't know what's here. No, we get the boat spots a young sapling on the side of the trail. If cut properly stripped, it might serve as a strong wagon tongue. But it will take some time. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. No, we get the boat. It's your idea, so let's try to do this. Hey. After a few hours, now we get the boat successfully cuts, strips the sapling. It will serve as a good wagon tongue. We got some army men up here. It's Thomas J. Farnham. Greetings, travelers. It's good to see your faces. Against all odds, you've managed to rescue each and every one of us. I don't even know what to say. This is far beyond what I could have expected. Thank you truly. Please accept this reward. It's from all of us. Best of luck on your journey. We got 90 shekels. Quest complete. Aurora party. I honestly thought we missed a couple of them. You've unlocked the flag Murphy wagon, Oregon or the grave. That's uh disheartening. The flag farm. Yeah, we we know this. We just did that. The flag. Oh, it's it's the three different sizes of it. So that's cool. John Tyler. Oh my. Oh, it's Mr. Shooter McGee. Well, it ain't my old trail buddies. Are you up for another challenge? Except oftentimes it ain't about accuracy or timing. It's about knowing when to shoot, when to hold your fire. Who's got the best judgment in your group? We'll let Roy boy. No, this has been G.I. Jane's puppy. We'll bet 20. Sounds good. Oh, I'm going to have to do the clicky thing. See those bottles? I've hidden a silver dollar inside one. I'll give you three shots to find it. 
See if you're smart enough to figure out where it is. Take your time, aim first, and decide. Um... Use the false, Luke. Second bottle. Okay, his face. Um, first bottle. No sign of emotion. Just pick one already. Okay, boom. Good job. You played smart. Real smart. I've grown to know you folks, and I believe you're good people. There's something I need to get off my chest. I'm not traveling west for Golden Land. I'm out for vengeance. My brother Joshua was ended by a low-down snake of a man named Coogan. You can't trust those Coogans. Coogan robbed Josh of a fob watch and just took him out. Right in front of his wife and kid. A watch, if you could believe it. That coward Coogan took away a father, husband, and brother with one bullet. He's got a reckoning a coming. Maybe I'll see you at Fort Nez Pierce. You keep the silver dollar. Oh man, violence begets violence. All right, twenty-four mountains to the twenty-four miles to the Blue Mountains. Not 24 mountains to the Blue Mountains. That would be ridiculous. Ah! The ox bucks and rears, knocking G.I. Jane to the ground as the wagon lurches to a stop. A loud crack rings out from the wagon. G.I. Jane picks herself up, clutching her arm in pain. She will be forced to nurse the injury for some time. It appears a twisted stick lies at the trail, shaped eerily like a snake and spooking the ox. The ox refuses to step near it. The stick is thrown into the grass and G.I. Jane tries to calm the ox down. On inspection, it appears the wagon has sustained some damage in the commotion. While the wagon is still functioning this time, the party should consider repairing damage before things get worse. Now we'll get the boat, get to it. We've also got some stuff that looks like it fell out. Alright, we need to uh, repack this stuff, I'm sure. Oh, we can't do that right now. But we can get our items back in here so the game won't like freak out about it. That was a winter stoat. Okay, the wagon just had all sorts of breakage. I'm not a fan of what's transpiring right now. I mean, I could use... Oh, the wagon tongue. We used it. Um, we're going to have to get some more repair stuff. I'm not even sure what those things are. I'm going to click them anyway. We're almost to the Blue Mountains. I doubt we'll have something here that we can rest or trade or do anything, but there should be some people here. Uh-oh. The looming clouds at last give out, showering the wagon in a constant blanket of rain. This weather's depressing. Oh my god, their health or their the mood is summer as the wagon will slog over the muddy ground. At last the rain clears and the sun returns to the trail. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get their uh, G.I. Jane. She's got her broken arm and her clothing needs changed. Actually, we'll give her a little bump right now of that. Hopefully, we can find something here at the, uh, the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Some other people here. A lot more people here. The Blue Mountains are the final mountain range that the party must tra traverse before reaching Oregon. Despite the long, arduous journey, the travelers can't help but be awed by the majesty of nature. Okay, we didn't get cholera. Who's here to talk to? Jacob Hofstetter. His valley to Grande Ronde is the most beautiful sight I've seen in months. Abundant water or grass for grazing. If we, this valley is so fine, the Willamette Valley must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead. Marty Stewart. We followed the edge of the desert for football as it to the forbidden wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadfully steep. Locking both wheels and coming down slow, we got safe. Poor animals, though. No grass or water for days. Overlander. 
Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day, six inches at a time. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked in the dust and died after swimming in the river. They bled and died. Let's see what we could trade here. Um, trade supplies. We've got money if somebody... 39 bullets, flour, medicine would be good. Um, let's see if we can haggle with him. Two hundred and something. I don't think that's so much. We just cannot give up that much. The bullets do interest me. Oh, there's no way. There's no way we can afford any of this. It's just ridiculous. The trading offers at this point. So we'll rest today. Get to see nice mountainous landscape. Looks like everybody's doing good. Our energy is a little bit low. I don't think we have. Oh, we do have one more coffee. Go ahead and do that. So we can get Noah get the boat up a little bit. I am worried. What's this do? Composure. Yeah, her broken arm's going to be there probably till the end of the adventure. All right, let's head on our way. <clears throat> we'll leave the Grande Rondes behind us. We still, we're going toward Fort Nez Pierce. I think that's where we drop off the one thing. Uh, we can get parts here. That sounds like a uh, a good thing. Party sets out again, entering the final stretch. It's been a long and laborious voyage, but it's nearly over. The wagon's only falling apart. 110 miles, oh my lord. What is that? Fastos. We definitely need to get berries. Hannah Montana stops by the side of the trail examining a small plant covered in blue-hued berries. These are Oregon grapes, inedible despite their name, but imbued with potent healing abilities. Hannah Montana plucks some in hopes of treating future illness or injuries. <clears throat> hey, herbal remedies, nice. Yeah, I don't think the herbal remedies will give. Yeah, they only take three days off that. That's that's no no big thing. Hopefully, we can get some. Oh, it's our gunslinger dude again. Howdy again. Good to see you. I'm near the end of my travels. Interested in give me one last chance to sharpen my skills? Sure. Uh, we'll bet 20. We'll have to let uh, Roy Boy probably take the shot. How do you want to do this? A trial of speed, judgment, or accuracy, or maybe sheer nerve? Shoot the correct target quickly. Shoot only when told to. Pure shooting skill. Choose which bottle to shoot. Um, we'll do accuracy. Oh, no. We'll, let not, well, we're not going to win this one. All right then, partner, the rules are simple. We'll both take three shots, one target further in the way and last. If you make the shot, cash in right away. If you miss a shot, you're done. Understand. So we're probably gonna lose this one because our best shooter broke her arm. Okay, he got a good shooting. For the next shot, do you wanna double the bet? We'll double it. Sure, why not? I don't think we're going to get past the second one. But maybe we can give him a... He'll prove us wrong. Oh, he missed! Yep. I'd say bad luck, friend, if I believed in luck. The world is what you make it, and I'll have to make it just a little worse. For a moment, the gunslinger looks at his feet, his hard face clouded for the first time by indecision. Noah get the boat can sense the struggle inside him, the terrible weight of the decision he has to make. Finish his quest for vengeance or let the go of the anger and hatred. Whatever is said might sway his decision one way or the other. Whoever talks to gunslinger should probably have a way with words. Yeah, Jane, here's your chance. 
Broken arm and all. What's your GI Jane team? Uh, let's convince him to abandon his quest for vengeance and go take care of his family. GI Jane talks with the gunslinger for what seems like hours. The man listens intently and by the end, GI Jane is fairly certain she has convinced him to give up his quest for violent revenge. I guess I got a load of hard thinking to do. I'll see you at the Dalles, where all this will be settled, one way or another. All right, under 100 miles to go. Hopefully we can find that thing and get some repair. Here's some more berries. These look edible. There's a bear over there, it looks like. A grove of wild berries grows. I don't know if we'll pick berries with a grizzly bear standing over there. We'll get Hannah Montana to get some of that. We need some healthy food. Whether through pure intent intuition or practice skill, Hannah Montana collects an abundance of wild berries. 75. Holy cow. Alright, let me uh give her a little bit of clothes. Alright, let's get some parts here and hopefully we can fix our wagon. I'd love if there's some grease on this, but I doubt it. Party approaches a dilapidated windblown wagon. While the long abandoned wagon looks like it might collapse at any moment, some parts. We will definitely investigate. Um We'll take the wheel. We'll send Noah to get that. Only a single wheel is an acceptable condition for use. It slips free from the wagon. Uh, let's take the axle. Send Hannah Montana after this to try to split up this. Axles wrestle from the husk. All right, good. That should repair our wagon. That's all we need. The party decides it's best to leave the wagon alone and moves on in silence. Uh, we will, we'll go here as well to get more repair items. All right. So kind of what we learned on this adventure is you need to use those little, uh, tokens that you got from the soldiers early because they're just not worth anything toward the end. The wagon's already, yeah, getting damaged. That didn't, oh my lord, that did not take long at all. This whole thing just like, just shattered on us. Like, I don't think it's like fair at this point. Let's hope Noah can repair some of it. Excellent. We are wore out. We're going to have to definitely rest. There's a coyote. Hopefully this person can help us. Injured woman. Please, strangers, I need help. We were attacked by bandits and our wagon was destroyed. My horse and I survived, but I'm injured. Can you spare medicine? We'll give her medicine because we're being super nice today. Thank you so much, strangers. You can't know what this means to me. Feel free to salvage what you can from the wagon. I need to rest a moment. Uh, we will definitely poach parts from you. Yeah, we're definitely wore out too. This wagon could fall on her. All right, that should be enough. Oh, we didn't get the one. Oh, yeah, we did. There it is. Okay. Excellent. All right, we'll get some uh, herbs. Wants us to get 100 pounds of meat, but we can't do that anymore because, well, we don't have any more bullets. Yeah, exhaustion. We don't have any, like... 
I don't have any food to give to him. The wagon lurches wildly, its wheels failing to find purchase on the loose dirt of the hill. Oh man, G.I. Jane again. Now she's got a broken leg. I didn't mean to click on Hannah Montana, but it worked. Hannah Montana examines the injury. With some care, she determines whether the leg is broke and fashions a splint for G.I. Jane, allowing the injured party to walk once again. Jeez. That actually helped her... Uh We don't have coffee to treat that. We're we're kind of getting into some uh, interesting uh, things now. Hopefully, at Fort Nez, we'll have uh, definitely harvest here. We'll let Hannah Montana because she's amazing at that. I can't click on the bee. All right, enormous, and we got more herbal remedies. 20 miles to Fort Nez Pierce. We're getting so close. G.I. Jane. Now we'll get the boat. A small amount of earth sits atop the flat fix of trail dust strewn about by the wind. The ground has been disturbed recently. Perhaps bury supply cache or something else. We'll dig it up. Uh, we'll let Roy boy. What about G-G-G-Ghost? Roy boy, slack, refuses to dig it up. All too aware of what might be buried beneath. Instead, he takes some time to flatten the gravesite. Giant Ichnumious Wasp. Yeah, that's what I want to see on our adventure. Oh, we've got to find some way to repair this wagon. We need coffee and we need to repair the wagon. Also probably need to uh, use these last two clothing items here. like we're getting close to the place here we're not there starting to see some other civilization this is good for us i would love to say that i think we'll be able to trade with the natives but i'd say at this point they're probably done with us it does look like there's a lot of people here so we'll see this could be a store and we do have a lot of money because that could be a savior as well She looks like she has a waffle. Party rolls toward Fort Nez Pierce. Keen to take refuge from the mountains of frigid winds. We didn't get 100 pounds of meat. Of course we didn't. Alright, we get to look at this dude over here sharpening an axe. Guy on his horse. This dude's got an awesome little store set up. Definitely go to the store. Uh, 90 for that. I know we're going to have to buy some clothes. I know we got to buy coffee. Parts are so expensive. Alright, so we'll pay now. Probably should have looked to see what I could trade for first, but... I really just want to get this back to normal. And get us on a decent playing ground. We may be able to camp and rest and get rid of that exhaustion, so I'm not going to push that just yet. Let's see what we have here. George. Fort's named after the Nez Pierce people, but it's actually located on the traditional lands of the Walla Walla. Boy, I sure hope someone was fired for that blunder. Joseph. We hold annual expeditions into snake country from the fort, where he started doing it after Donald McKenzie proved it was a worthwhile fur trapping venture. Amy Witherspoon. My cousin Catherine was one of the six children orphaned and left at Whitman's mission. Lived with them for three years until the massacre last November. She survived snake bites, stampedes, falls, fights, 
Not to mention a massacre. A loquat. Ask about what happened at the mission. I ask you why Dr. Mittman's medicine cured white children, but not the children of my people. The missionaries spread the measles to us and threatened our way of life. Because medicine doesn't work the same on all demographics? George Bush! Hello, travelers. It would seem the government, in all of its infinite wisdom, doesn't want my business in Oregon. The fickle fools. George Bush was never one to take a lashing. I've called in a favor for so business pals from Hudson's, and we're heading north instead. Good luck to you. All right, what services do we have here? Um, probably health. How much is he going to charge us? Uh, Jiajin. 60? Yeah, we'll have to spin that. All right. Because that's... Uh... So he cured her leg and her... Her arm. So that's that's pretty good. Let's see. Can we get some grease? Anybody got some grease, I wonder? Closed toolbox. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be so astronomical. Watch. Oh, if we can get him down on the dragoon things... Let's hope it's enough. Yes. All right. We got three wheel grease. The pull to toolboxes, I doubt. Four pelts. I will do that. Okay. So we're in good shape so far. This was a good place. Yeah, there's a thousand hard tech. Oh my God. Okay. But I think we're pretty good here. So what we'll do is we'll rest and then we'll take off. Hey everybody, I'm Steven Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.